Give them eternal rest, O Lord, and let them share your glory. We also include in this Mass for the departed members of our order, our parents, relatives, friends, and benefactors. Let us begin our celebration by making the perfect sign of love, the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who grants forgiveness and desires the salvation of mankind, we beseech you in your mercy to grant the members of our order, our parents, relatives, friends, and benefactors who passed out of this life by the intercession of the Blessed Mary Ever Virgin and of all your saints may partake of everlasting bliss through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of the call you have received, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another through love, striving to preserve the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace, one body and one spirit, as you were also called to the one hope of your call, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord, or who may stand in his holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not 
what is vain. Nor this is the people that longs to see your face. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Nor this is the people that longs to see your face. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, When you see a cloud rising in the west, you say immediately that it is going to rain. And so it does. And when you notice that the wind is blowing from the south, you say that it is going to be hot. And so it is. You hypocrites, you know how to interpret the appearance of the earth and the sky. Why do you not know how to interpret the present time? Why do you not judge for yourselves what is right? If you are to go with your opponent before a magistrate, make an effort to settle the matter on the way. Otherwise, your opponent will turn you over to the judge, and the judge hand you over to the constable, and the constable throw you into prison. I say to you, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. You hypocrites, you know how to interpret the appearances of the earth and the sky, but why you do not know how to interpret the present time. Good morning, everyone. How are you today? Kumusta naman po ang umaga ninyo? Okay man Japan. Kindly greet one another. Good morning muna. And can you say to the person beside you, God bless you. Mama Mary loves you. Then you say to the person, Pautang kubi. My dear friends, one of the greatest treasure that we can give to our beloved or even to the person next to us is what we call time. We can have much and even gain more money or resources, but we can never have much time. Hence, when we give our time, we give a part of our life. Jesus in our gospel today speaks a lot about the present time. The people were able to interpret and read the signs of the earth and the skies, but failed to recognize what is important at that time. They failed to recognize who is very significant in that time. They failed to realize whom they were talking with. Imagine how much God loves us. He who is beyond space and time. He can't be affected by time, for He is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. Nothing goes beyond Him, nor nobody can outstand Him. 
Likewise, out of His love and mercy, He came into this world to let us people experience and even encounter Him who is the very source of every miracle and blessings. He who is beyond time and space allowed Himself to be contained in such a pitiable and humbling state. He emptied Himself and took the form of a slave, being born in the likeness of men. Sa sobrang tigas ng ulo natin, Diyos na ang nag a He did that because He wanted the people to realize that God is not a God who is far from us, but He is the Emmanuel. He is with us. Hindi pa rin ba sapat na nagkatodere sa kalibutan ng aton ginuo para kilalahon naton siya, para palanggaon naton siya, para sundan naton siya. Here, we can see how much effort God has exerted only to reach out for us. And it is very ironic to say, Father, I don't have much time with God. The mudamo nagid ko obra sa balay, the mudamo nagid ko obra sa workplace ko, wala nagid gani ko time sa family ko, ti hatagan ko pa sang time ang ginuo. That is why you were right, you were are right now. That is why you are experiencing such problem right now. Kasi hanggang ngayon, Diyos pa rin ba ang mag a -adjust? Alam mo, why God has given you such trials and difficulties in your life? Perhaps it is because God wants to talk with you. Still, can you give him some time, some of your time? Bisan kamay, kamay lang. Again, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, God, out of his love and mercy, have given us not only of our time, but all of his life. Why? Because he loves us so much. He wants us to recognize Him and have some quality time with Him. Can't we still recognize Jesus? Can't we still give Him a part of our life? Can't we spend some quality time with Jesus? Amen. In Jesus' time, people would predict the weather by the direction of the wind. Jesus invited them to read the present time to know where God was leading them. May we, in turn, be sensitive to the signs of times. In every prayer, we will say, Lord, help us to read the signs of our time. Lord, help us to read signs of our time. May the spread of the virus, the big fires, and other national natural disasters remind us that nature is forcing us to clean up the mess that we ourselves have made and to stop abusing the environment. We pray. Lord, Lord help, help us, us to read the signs, signs of our time. May our sense of helplessness before a pandemic Make us realize the vulnerability of our being human and that we are all in the same boat, 
rich and poor alike, we pray. Lord, help us to read the signs of our time. May we realize that our best protection is God, that our best refuge is our home, and our best company is our family, we pray. Lord, help us to read the signs of our time. May we realize that our heroes and saviors are not the gods of money, fame, and politics, but ordinary people who serve and even offer their lives at a time of great need, we pray. Lord, help us to read the signs of our time. May we realize that time can be short, and we have to be ready to make an account of our lives to the Lord, we pray. Lord, help us to read the signs of our time. And in the silence of our hearts, let us offer to the Lord our individual needs and intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, help us read the signs of our time. Lord, our God, we are part of a whole fragile, vulnerable, and yet beautiful world. Help us to go back to the basics, to the essentials, that the peace of our soul may guide us towards you. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received this bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received this wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. In the humble spirit and qualified heart, and accepted by you, Lord, and may sacrifice you, sacrifice me, be pleasing to you, Lord our God. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that may sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look down in your mercy, we beseech you, O Lord, upon the sacrifice which we offer up to you for the departed members of our order, our parents, relatives, friends, and benefactors, that those to whom you granted the mercy of Christian faith, you may also grant its reward 
through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for it is the salvation of the world, the life of the human race, the resurrection of the dead, through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these heaps, we pray, be sending down your Spirit upon them like the true fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and was more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one with the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Patricia, our Bishop, Vicente, our Bishop Emeritus, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her most Jesus spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. My dear brothers and sisters, behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. God sent His only Son into the world so that we could have life through Him. The body of Christ. Amen. For those who are joining our live stream celebration, let us now pray the spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you and I desire you to come into my heart. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you. Oh, never leave me. May the burning and most sweet power of your love consume me, that I may die for you who died for love of me. Amen.
Let us pray. Grant, we beseech you, almighty and merciful God, that the departed members of our order, our parents, relatives, friends, and benefactors, for whom we offer up to your majesty the sacrifice of praise, may virtue of this sacrament be cleansed from all sin, and by your mercy receive the happiness of eternal light through our Lord Jesus Christ, our Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We will now pray the Orasio Imperata against COVID-19. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us a grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungson, Pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Good morning, everyone. Good morning.